What the actual fuck? What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris, and today it is a damn good day to be a DC slash Batman fan. I'm just going to give a quick little breakdown and my first initial thoughts on the newly released trailer for Matt Reeves' The Batman starring Robert Pattinson as the Cape Crusader. This was just released through DC fandom not long ago and it's already broken the internet. So I've just watched the trailer and holy shit, this movie looks like it's going to be something special. And I'm not being biased because I am a massive Batman fan, but I adored the tone of this trailer. It, it was something I was not expecting. I knew this film was going to be dark from what Matt Reeves had said, what Robert Pattinson had said, but nothing like this. So I actually took some screenshots of just some interesting points in the trailer that I wanted to talk about and touch on and just give my initial thoughts on. So the trailer starts off by what looks like Paul Dano's The Riddler, correct me if I'm wrong, um, putting some duct tape over someone's face, a corpse saying no more lies. So, and I love the fact that this is gonna be a very psychologically driven Batman film with the Riddler and Batman. We then get our first look of Jeffrey Wright as Commissioner Gordon. I love his look. I think this is such brilliant casting because he's such a phenomenal actor and he's gonna really bring that gravitas to Gordon. We then see a card that is a riddle. Haven't a clue, let's play a game, just me and you. And it's addressed to the Batman. And then we cut to our first look of Pattinson in the bat suit. And I really like the way he looks. He looked great in that initial test footage, but this right here just really shows off how beautiful that suit is and how intimidating he also is in that suit. Now, I was kind of hoping for the lenses in the cow, but it works. His eyes look really piercing and menacing coming through that cow. He's got the shoulder width. He's obviously got the protection, the body armor, and it looks like it moves quite fluidly and it's definitely going to save his life and buy him some time if he's having the shit kicked out of him. But I digress because we see this in the trailer. <laughs> The guys that did the sound design would have had a field day with that scene. Just listen to the crunching of that guy's bones and internal organs. So here's a shot of Pattinson out of the suit as Bruce Wayne. And this is going to be real nitpicking. I don't mean to be. His hair. The only gripe I have with this whole trailer is just the look of his hair. I expected, you know, something a bit more slick back, but a bit more Bruce Wayne-y. To me, and this was just my first initial thought, it just reminded me a bit of uh, Tobey Maguire's hair in Spider-Man 3 when he went a bit emo. But from a dark gothic standpoint, I get it. I understand it. This guy is brooding. This guy is angry. This guy's got the shit. So, fair. And he still looks great. Like, I'm... I'm buying to the fact that he is Bruce Wayne. We then get our first look of Zoe Kravis as Selina Kyle, aka Catwoman. Who knows if she will be referred to as Catwoman in the film like what Nolan did? No idea, but I'm already on board for Zoe Kravis as Catwoman. I think she's going to do an amazing job. She has that very feline-esque presence about her. And then we also see a very, very quick little glimpse of her and Batman throwing down. Now this shot right here, I'm trying to see if this is Colin Farrell as the penguin. And in the eyes, it sort of looks like him. And it also has the nose of the penguin. So if it is him, he is buried in some heavy prosthetic makeup. But uh, if look, if this is the penguin, I like what's going on here. There also looks like there's some sort of facial scarring going on around the cheeks. And then we get our first glimpse of the Batmobile. I mean, look at that back burner and all its V12 glory. Jeffrey Wright actually said on his Twitter months and months ago that this thing screams and it screams through the streets and you can hear that in the trailer. So overall, I am really digging how this is looking, geeks and geekheads. It took me completely by surprise. 
I am jonesing for this film. I think it's going to be something quite different and something quite special in the best way possible. And I wish nothing but the best for Pattinson as Batman. I'm totally on board. I was on board from day one. I had faith in him because he's an amazing actor and he has the chops to pull off Batman and Bruce Wayne, which is a tall order. And actually, one more interesting point. There is a shot right at the end of him in the cave. You see the Batmobile in the background. He's just taken the cowl off and they've kept the panda eyes on. I love that. There's just no bullshit about it. Matt Reeves is like, no, this guy throws some panda eye makeup on. We're going to keep that in. We ain't doing a Batman Returns where we're going to remove the black eye makeup before he removes the cow. I love that. He's been honest. So guys, I know this was a very quick little video. I'm very excited about this. I'm all giddy. I don't know if I've missed anything, but these are the main points I wanted to touch on from the trailer with certain shots and just things that I wanted to discuss. So there's a lot going on in this trailer and there is a lot to discuss. So with that being said, I'd love you to drop a comment below and let me know your thoughts because we do hear a bit of Paul Dano's Riddler and he sounds amazing. You expect Paul Dano to physically look like someone as a Riddler, but to sound like that, I loved it. I love the direction it's going. Love the way Matt Reeves is going about with this. So guys, like I said, drop a comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Enjoy the rest of DC fandom. So much stuff has come out today, especially the stuff with um, Zack Snyder's Justice League. We've got the Suicide Squad footage coming out. There's Black Adam stuff. There's game stuff. It's just a crazy bananas and bonkers weekend, but in the best way possible. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have yourselves an absolute cracker of a day. I hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.